Yeah, it's Jordy White here outside Elland Road for the centenary game against Birmingham. Just here to get your thoughts on the centenary. Uh, we're here with Fan Evan, all the way from Norway for this game. It's his first game uh, in 50 years. Uh, Evan, uh, what do you think of the events so far around the centenary? So far, how's it been for you? Uh, it's been fantastic. Uh, I met some uh, very nice friends uh, taking care of me. We went to uh, all around the Leeds to find the uh, Peter Lorimer pub, right. and uh, we didn't find it because it's closed. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, uh, I was very sorry, but these nice persons took care of uh, me and my friend and took us here to Elm Road for the first time in my life. And I'm uh, flying. <laughs> We've got Justin here, former cameraman for Leeds United. Justin, uh, what do you make of the centenary events so far this week and what's been going on today? How good have they been for celebrating the 100 years? Well, to be honest, I was a bit slow on it because I've been working away this week, but catching up on like internet and just coming down today, I'm actually quite surprised and shocked at yeah. how, how Good a job the club seems to have done. It seems okay. to have really embraced the 100 years. We've got Jimmy here. Uh, Jimmy, what do you make of the centenary events that have been going on throughout the week and today as well? Yeah, absolutely brilliant. I mean, I've been following them on social media, so I've been watching on the, on the Facebook page, looking at all the pictures, all the videos that all the ex-players have been sending in, yeah. keeping my eye on that. So I might be doing class night, which I was buzzing about. Awesome. Yeah, um, yeah, it's fantastic what the owners are doing for the club at the minute compared to the past yeah, yeah, <laughs> and taking us in the right direction is a real good feel factor you can see everybody here today yeah. we're here with our friend Ryan Ryan what do you make of the centenary events so far this week and today as well it's been pretty impressive to be honest with you um, they've, they've made quite a big deal out of it in the Millennium Square event but I think the thing is it means so much to a lot of people the fans I mean look at it today this is one of the busiest times I've seen Ellen Road a couple of hours before kickoff it's incredible the atmosphere is really high obviously Let's hope we get three points today and, and make it an even better day. OK, so it's your first game in 50 years. You've obviously been a Leeds fan for quite a long time. What would you say is your favourite moment ever as a Leeds United fan? If you could pick one moment. When Peter Lormer uh, scored a goal in 90 miles per hour. 90 miles per hour? That's a very hard shot. Never see that again. Well, actually, I've just seen it on the uh, big screen down there because I was actually working at the game when Viduka got a hat-trick against Liverpool and we oh, won 4-3. Right. So just seeing those goals back just brought all that game back. Oh, right. You know, it was an early half-12 kick-off and I, I just forgot how immense that game was. Yeah. My greatest ever moment. I mean, this season is up there at the moment. Yeah, with the football we're playing and the Bielsa ball, of course. It's, it's like an event coming down to the match these days. I don't, I don't come to every game, but when I come down, it's absolutely a joy to watch the team play. But when I first started watching Leeds United, we were in the Champions League, uh, which is a long time ago now. But it's a bit of a fall from grace, isn't it? Yeah, yeah <laughs> to say the least. Um, but yeah, memories back to Alan Smith, and I know a lot of people don't like him, but... He was a great player for us, Leeds boy. Had to do what he had to do. And you know, Lee Boyer, Johnny Woodgate, Viduka, all them players growing up was just amazing. It was when uh, Lee Boyer scored against uh, AC Milan at Ellen Road on that Champions League night. I was sat at the very back of the cup and at the back of the cup there's a bit of a void between the stadium and, and the seat and when it scored Ellen Road erupted I fell backwards into this void and we just had arms and legs up in the air yeah. going mad. It was absolutely brilliant. and and. You know, it gives me goosebumps talking about it, and it were a, absolutely chucking it down that night, rainy, but what an atmosphere, what, what a game. OK, so, so you mentioned all those players there. If you had to pick one player who's your favourite, who would you pick? Or well, the, greatest, the greatest player out of those? Oh, no, it's controversial, but Harry Kuehl. Okay. Controversial. He was my childhood hero growing up. Right. Left winger, skinning people for fun. Yeah. I loved him. But, you know. So. so, you're clearly quite a big fan of Peter Lorimer. Would you say he's the best player you've ever seen play for Leeds United? Yeah, maybe Joe Jordan is the same person. Uh, really? but, uh, okay. Yeah, I think so. Because uh, he was a strong man, Joe Jordan. Yeah. yeah. Well, it might not necessarily be the greatest player, but to me, he's the greatest player, and that's Lucas Radibi. Mm -hmm. And just because I got to know him as a person, and I probably that influenced the decision. Okay. Well, I've seen a lot of great players play. Um, one of my favourite players, and, and I think it's an absolute talent, and he goes a little bit unnoticed sometimes, is, is Oliver Decor. I think yeah. what he did for that team at that particular time were unbelievable, but I think it's got to be 
Lucas Radovi is up there. I mean, Mark Viduka, who absolutely class. I mean, these are players from my era. Don't, don't, don't forget, obviously, there's probably players like Billy Bremner and Lorimer, people like that a lot of people talk of. But for me, it's got to be the chief for Oli Decor. Okay. So the, the first 100 years of Leeds United has seen its ups and downs, of course. What do you think the next 100 years holds for the club? Well, the way we're going at the moment, hopefully back in the Premier League in the next couple of seasons, hopefully this season, but, you know, nothing's guaranteed. I think the way we're going, back into the Premier League and hopefully back up to the top, competing in the Champions League, all that. Extension on the stadium as well, please. Yeah, that would be fantastic. To the top. To the top. Always. Always Leeds United. I think it holds some more glory days. Look, you're right, we've had a lot of ups and downs in these last hundred years, but it seems to be going in the right direction right now. And, you know, Bielsa, the, the current owners, are doing a lot for the community as well as, as the football. and. I think the only way is up, it's got to be really, and um, I think we're going to see some success at Leeds United in the next 100 years. Well, I think I'll, I'll get real positive vibes, I'm, I'm from the crowd and the city, so I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be good. I'm, I'm kind of hoping the money will come out of the game a little bit and we'll be in a really good position with young, young homegrown talent. Right. Well, thank you very much, thanks very much for talking to us, thanks thank for taking the time, much. and uh, enjoy the game. Thank you very much, thanks. have a nice day. Thank you.